in this problem we have to integrate the cinch cubed of x. So I am thinking uh, we can use an identity. I'm thinking maybe this one. If we have the cosinch squared of x minus the cinch squared of x, um, this is equal to 1. Okay, so uh, in other words, uh, we can solve this for cinch squared. So we could subtract cosinch squared. That'll give us 1 minus cosinch squared of x. And then uh, multiplying by negative 1, we see that cinch squared of x is equal to cosinch squared of x minus 1. So this is what uh, I think we should try to use. I haven't done this problem yet, uh, but it seems to be um, something we can try. So we have cinch cubed of x. So we're going to break it up into two pieces. Uh, cinch squared of x times the cinch of x dx. And by the way, the reason I have this idea is because if it was sine cubed, you would do something similar, except you would use the identities for regular trig functions. Remember, when you have sine to an odd power, you save a copy of sine, and then you let u be cosine. So here we have cinch to an odd power, so I'm thinking maybe we can try something similar, right? We can try to use the similar identity for the hyperbolic functions instead of the trig functions. So now let's rewrite this, uh, the cinch squared piece, using this identity here. So this will be cosinch squared of x. Uh, minus 1, and then we're left with cinch of x, and then dx. And now we can make our u substitution, right? We can let u be equal to the hyperbolic cosine of x. And then du is conveniently, very, very conveniently, just the hyperbolic sine of x. So there's no negative here. It makes it much easier. And that's exactly what we have in our integrand, right? Our, our du is exactly cinch x dx. So now we can make our substitution. So cosinch is uh, u, so this will be u squared minus 1 du. Really, really nice. And we can just integrate each piece. So u squared integrates to u cubed over 3, right, just using the power rule. And then the 1 integrates to u, so minus u, plus our constant of integration, capital C. And now we just plug in cosinch. So this will be 1 third cosinch cubed of x minus cosinch of x plus our constant of integration, capital C. I hope this video has been helpful to someone in the world. Good luck.